All right, I thought of something else while I was picking something out of my eye. <laughs> Speaking of things in your eye, <laughs> I, uh, I have a serious problem judging people and knowing what I'm allowed to judge. Um, we're instructed to judge righteously. That means that if I see somebody smoking, I'm gonna judge that maybe I could help them by giving them information, smoking is bad, or help them actually get off cigarettes. But that's not me judging them, that's a, it's a righteous judgment based on an observation or a feeling. So if God led me there, or I feel or think like I could help, then that's righteous judgment. If I'm judging somebody who's smoking as like a dirty person, or I don't like that, or blah blah blah, they're bad, or they should be shamed because that's all bad. You're never supposed to judge somebody based on what they do. That's the thing. So righteous judgment. <sighs> if you, I mean, if you see a strung out, drugged out person, homeless on the street, maybe they're even shot and they're bleeding, like, aren't you gonna help them? Some people would judge them as, uh, they sort of sealed their own coffin, they put themselves there. <laughs> I don't have to help them. A lot of people see that on the street. I was talking to a friend of mine, and he, uh, he sees homeless people on the street, and he said he's tried giving them money before. And the main problem is, in a lot of cases, they buy booze. Sure. And so he feels as though it's a waste of money and he's not going to buy anyone booze ever. And so now anytime he sees a homeless person, it's that same thing. Guy just wants booze. So he's judged everyone. Everyone as this one person. For example, if a black person robs you, should you mistrust black people forever? No. <laughs> because a white person can rob you just as easy and probably did. You didn't even know it. Already hacked your credit card. Not me. I didn't, I didn't do that. Was... Moving on. We, uh, we just, we can't judge people, man. We, we can't get those pretensions, pretentious. We can't be pretentious like that and, and just hold a grudge. Be contentious all the time. It even says in the Bible, I think, something like, you aren't supposed to carry an argument past sundown or something like that. You need to forgive and ask for forgiveness before the sun goes down. <laughs> Otherwise you're in, in serious trouble. And I always thought that was interesting. And it's true. If you let it go to the next day, wow. You don't ever want to change that. I don't need to say sorry. I, they, they need to say sorry. Or I'll, I'll get better on the next one. I, you never forgive. You never forget. You never change. That's a tough one. You really do have to uh, get on things quickly. It says, agree with thine adversary while thou art in the way with him. So... If I'm having an argument, I want to agree and be happy and be loving with that person before I leave. Sometimes conversations end up taking a lot of hours and I've failed quite a few times. I've tried so hard to help some people and uh, <laughs> I get rather zealous and excited and uh, maybe waste a lot of energy trying my best to uh, relate truth. I know that I have truth. I possess some. And I know there are people that can use some. And it's just my fault that I'm not good at relating that to those people. Because if I... <laughs> at one point a guy was telling me this, this may be off topic, but at one point somebody was telling me it's not taking the Lord's name in vain when he does it because he doesn't believe it. Okay. 
but it is still taking the Lord's name in vain. You just don't believe in the Lord. You're still doing that thing. It is still a thing. And he disagreed. Same guy disagrees that uh, if you steal bread because you're starving, it's not stealing. It is. It really is. It really is stealing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Okay, so you're starving. You ask for bread, they don't give it to you. Sure, you try and work, you can't. Maybe you're starving. But if you steal something, it's still stealing. It, it just is. So if you take the Lord's name in vain, you are taking the Lord's name in vain. Maybe you don't believe in the consequences, but... Still the same thing. Judging. It's me judging him right now. That's a tough one. I'm clearly susceptible. Not perfect. It's cold out here, by the way. That's why I have a heater going. Uh, you shouldn't judge people. The reason my eye made me think of that is because the line in scripture is something like... Mm-hmm. It's that one. It's that one right there. Motes and, and beams is, is the gist of it. Basically that... Uh, why are you trying so hard to get the, the moat, the, the really small thing, out of my eye? when you have a giant beam stuck in yours. That's why you can't judge people. You may know how to fix that one little teeny thing about me, but if you have like 17,000 things that are seriously wrong with you, put the oxygen mask on first. That's, that's one you have, to, you have to do. It's okay to be selfish there. You have to put the oxygen mask on first so you can help others. Spiritually speaking, it's the same thing. You have to get strong before you can help others. I had to run away from a lot of my friends. Just being in the chat with them online is like a rated R movie. They're swearing, they're talking about sex, they're, they're very converting. Uh, because of the polarization effect here in this life, there's no more fence sitting. We have to choose now. We have to choose, so every single second you are not converting someone, you are being converted. That's just how it works. So sitting in that channel, chatting, not trying to help those friends, was just detrimental. Detrimental. To me. So... I had to leave for a while, to get strong. And I tried going back these last few days to play games with them and wow I just don't want to and when I talk to them it's so weird it's like years haven't gone by like I've gone through all of this emotional and spiritual growth and I've I've had all these problems and I've overcome them and like I talk to them and they're the same every day the same the same every day Years go by. Like I want so much to, to give them the light that, that I found. Like I'm not perfect either, that's why I'm saying this. Like I got a beam. I got problems. So how can I effectively judge righteously? Yeah, okay, two and two together, gotta take the beam out first. <laughs> Obviously. Either that or you just stick to the basics. There's rules. You can never counsel your fellow man unless you're like a bishop. Can't give him counsel. You can just tell them to repent and you can give testimony of what works for you. That's it. Urge repentance, invite repentance. Bear testimony of what works for you. Anything else, it's technically against what it says in the Bible. quite a few in this life. 
of both. God and the world. Good repent.